What's up Brozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another security breach kind of discussion video. I say another one but I haven't really had much discussion videos recently. Um, the last one I did, it must have been about Princess Quest? I don't remember, I haven't uploaded in a week, I'm really sorry about that guys. Uh, I've just been, I've, I've just been very unfocused as you can clearly see. I'm kind of all over the place right now, but we're good. Today I want to talk about something that's kind of popped up recently, uh, but something that is going to be in the future, whether or not it's the near future or the far future, and that is the Security Breach DLC. Now it's it feels early to talk about DLC for a game that just got its first big patch, um, but we are three months into the game's release, right? The game was released on the 16th of December 2021. It is currently the 14th of March 2022. It's been three months since Security Breach has come out. And uh, I think people are starting to like it a little bit more, I think. Um, there was a lot of controversy at the beginning. My opinion on it is it's a very good game. It's definitely up there um, for the team that they had and all of the resources they had. Uh, it's definitely a massive, massive indie game, and uh, I'm glad for them actually, because uh, it did really well. It did uh, really well compared to other FNAF games and stuff, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what we've got. But obviously there's a lot of, um, <laughs> well, this is FNAF, but there's a lot of loose ends, and uh, really I don't know, like, I, I don't know the law of all of Security Breach. Nobody does really, I mean, everybody's kind of been guessing, but as Matt Pat said, really no answer leads to a satisfying conclusion. So um, we, we're gonna have to kind of wait for the DLC. And I'm really hoping that first of all, the DLC is canon. Um, I, I, it probably will be. The other DLCs are mostly canon uh, in FNAF 4, the Halloween DLC, uh, in, in VR, the Halloween DLC again. Uh, are there any more? <laughs> I don't even think so. I don't think there are any more. Maybe the Christmas DLC for FNAF VR, but that's about it. The DLC in FNAF AR, the Dark Circus, that definitely didn't fall off. I really think that this, this is gonna be canon, and the second thing I'm hoping for is that, yes, it may be canon, but will it help us to kind of solve all of the mysteries that are left unsolved after the release of Security Breach, and I've got a few ideas on how they could do that. Um, I, I know a lot of people are wanting to see more of Vanny, more of Afton, maybe even some Glamrock Bonnie. Um, so I'm going to be going through kind of those options today. Let's start with Glamrock Bonnie because I feel like that's the one that a lot of people want. But personally, I wouldn't want that at all because I think Glamrock Bonnie, first of all, is just kind of a minor detail in the whole, the grand scheme of things, like, it's kind of already been solved anyway. We know there was a Glamrock Bonnie at one point, now there's a Montgomery Gator on the stage, and, you know, Glamrock Bonnie could have been used to kind of rebuild Afton, and that's kind of it, that's, that's the whole story arc of Glamrock Bonnie, like, Glamrock Bonnie doesn't need to come back, it doesn't need to be a prequel where Glamrock Bonnie's there, like, what good will that do us? It won't bring us like that much new content. I really don't think that we need a Glamrock Bonnie animatronic to be chasing us around the Pizzaplex. But that being said, it would be pretty cool to see a design for Glamrock Bonnie and an actual canon design of Glamrock Bonnie. Uh, it, would, it would be thrilling, but I, I really want the DLC to kind of progress the story or tell us more about Gregory as a character or Vanessa or the missing children. And I think that's a really good option to go with actually. And I really do feel like it, it can go one of two ways here. My first option is it could just be a, a prequel to Security Breach and it could be to do with the missing children's incident and where Gregory came from and where Vanessa came from, how Vanessa is Vanny, if she is, I believe she is. Um, you know, things about maybe patient 46, um, we haven't really, we still haven't really solved who it is, like unanimously we haven't solved it. 
Um, so I feel like all of that could kind of fit into a prequel, and I think that would be really cool. I think it would be really cool to see a prequel to Security Breach. The thing is with that is I would want kind of like a different location. I wouldn't want just, you know, the pizza plex, like, <laughs> like as it first, like it would be too similar to how it is now. They need to do something extravagant, something bigger. And I feel like the way they could do that is the level 10 doors. Maybe they could put things behind them, but I don't know. I feel like that was kind of scrapped content. And also that doesn't sound like great DLC, you know, go through these doors and there might be something behind, but you never know. You, you really never know. Uh, well, we will know when the DLC comes out. I believe there is a DLC page right now, and it's called Chowder. Uh, no comment. Also, Ray McCaffrey was like tweeting about his trip to like a sea life place or something like a water park, and people were thinking that this DLC was going to be like ocean themed. No, he <laughs> he has denied that fact. It is it is not. Well, it could be, but it's that's not his intention with the tweets, you know. It'd be cool to see, like, I, I really wish Chica didn't have maze size. it's kind of boring, just a Chica maze, like, who who cares? But um, it, it would be cool if, if Chica had, like, a water park or something, like Chica of the Sea. Um, that would have been cool, like an aquarium. Oh, an aquarium would have been so good. Felix the shark just just in the pizza plex for no reason. <laughs> and sea bonnies. We, <laughs> there could literally be a imagine that oh that'd be so cool that could literally be like an aquarium place with past with past FNAF things that'd be really cool because there's a lot of ocean thing uh i'm going off topic then we could have we could have glamrock foxy that'd be cool like a pirate r so yeah it could be a prequel uh, and it could be uh, <laughs> this water place. Like, that would be kind of cool if it was just a new place added to the pizza plex, but I feel like that's very limiting and I feel like it wouldn't progress the plot at all. Uh, I really hope it isn't like an optional thing that you can go to during the night. I, I hope it's like a, a different night, like in terms of lore. Um, but yeah, it could be a prequel. It could be a sequel, and how could they do a sequel? Well, the only really, the only ending with really kind of, I guess, controversy is the Afton ending, and um, the controversy lies whether like Afton survives. Afton, like, what happened? Because there wasn't much closure with that ending. I wasn't very satisfied. That was the least satisfying to me, um, and so really. <laughs> If there is a sequel where, you know, it's maybe, I, I don't know, like Afton, like the Afton amalgamation kind of chasing you around the pizza plex or something, that would be really cool. Um, and like, it would also kind of maybe mean that we know which ending is canon from that. Uh, as I said in a previous video, I believe it's either the Afton ending or the Princess Quest ending. But um, that... That would be pretty cool if it was like a, a big Afton amalgamation, kind of the Afton plus the blob. Um, we've talked about this sort of thing, you know, in Prin Princess Quest with the Afton, uh, like the the purple monster. That's kind of like the blob plus Afton. Anyway, yeah, I, I really feel like they, they could do something with Afton there. And that would be, I think that would be the best way to go. Because at the moment, we saw Afton for two maybe three minutes four if pushing it and like it was a really unsatisfying ending and one that needs clarification and one that a lot of fans want and that's one thing as well like a lot of fans want this if this is announced as a thing fans will come back to the game even if they didn't like security breach and i think one of the things that let down security breach in the first place was the endings and again if they made an Afton DLC. I really do think that fans would come back, um, yeah, just so that they can see, you know, what happens after this ending. Uh, maybe this DLC will lead into the next FNAF installment. I don't know about that because obviously we don't even know if there's going to be 
a next for Nathan Stillman. But a lot of people are saying Patient 46 could be the, the big villain of, uh, of, of everything. I believe it's in some... Actually, no, I'm not going to say my opinion. But yeah, I, I really think either a prequel or a sequel... I mean, obviously it has to be either. Um, I, I really do think it, if it's a prequel, it's going to be more centred around Gregory, the missing children's incidents at the Peterplex and kind of Vanessa, and I feel like if it's a sequel, it would be more centred around Afton, the Blob, um, I don't know, maybe it, sorry, maybe it could be Gregory and Freddy trying to escape the Peterplex as it comes tumbling down or something, I don't know, um, but they need to kill Afton, man, <laughs> they, they need to get rid of Afton, Afton needs to get the hell out of here. Um, but yeah, it's really crazy that we are talking about the DLC. It feels like it's only been a few weeks since Security Breach came out, but it's been a few months, and it's crazy how time flies, uh, and we're already talking about a potential DLC. But as I said before, they still have kind of a lot of work to do with the main game, so this DLC probably won't come out until possibly later this year or next year. Um, I, I really want them to take their time on it, actually. I, I don't want them to rush it. Um, I feel like... I feel like uh, Security Breach was very scruffy when it was released. And I think if they did a little bit of touching up, it would have been a lot better. Um, and, I, and I hope that they kind of... They, they learn from their mistakes when making the DLC and when releasing the DLC. And they need to release it at the right time. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm really hoping this goes well because I have high hopes. Uh, hopefully it leads on to the next part of FNAF, but if it's not canon, then that's a bummer. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure that you like, comment and subscribe. It really, really is appreciated and uh, I will see you next time. I've been Ozone, but I have to go Zone. <laughs> Goodbye.